It is Monday. Still a day off today. Tomorrow I'm back to work. So, celebrate the last day of the weekend. We're having margaritas. Actually, this past Saturday was National Margarita Day. So we're just heading to the store to pick up some sour mix and some limes. We already have the tequila at home. So we're pretty set. We just gotta pick up a couple of ingredients. All right, we're back and it's time to make our margarita. So we've got all of our ingredients here. Um, only thing I would also suggest is possibly some triple stack, but we didn't buy any at the store, so we're just gonna use what we got here. So first thing I always suggest is for your shakers, you really only need this portion of the cup. The rest of it, you can really just toss. What you want is a glass that you plan on drinking out of, and hopefully that gives you a nice little seal on your shaker. So you can just build the drink in the glass, and that way you know exactly how much is gonna fit in there. So for those who don't know me, I actually bartended through college, and I actually spent about five years bartending. I also probably spent about five years in college, but, <laughs> and then I went and got a master's. But anyway, so fill your glass with ice, and then you're gonna move on to your alcohol. And of course, I was always used to pouring out of like the quick pours, and so I kind of like having an idea of how much alcohol I'm putting in. Um, I don't have any of those quick pours here, so we're just going to actually measure. And we're doing, we're gonna do like two ounces of tequila. And I like using the, I mean, everyone has their own preference on tequila, but I like the Reposado. Uh, Reposado means rested, if I remember correctly. Um, so that tequila is actually aged in the barrel a little bit. So Blanco is not aged at all. Fun tips. That's about the what our drink is right there. Um, tequila and sour mix, but we're gonna add some fresh lime to it. That really fresh lime juice is actually gonna add a lot. There are, of course, a few different ways to cut a lime. Usually for, for drink garnishes and drinks, you're gonna cut it this way. So not along like the equator, but what would you call it? The poles. To the poles, yeah. So, I'm just gonna do straight cut that way. And then, what the easiest way to do is actually just cut horizontally this way. So you got just this straight line here, and you're gonna flip it over. And you're just gonna cut it into thirds. And I kinda like using the serrated knife, especially like on the outside, you get a really nice like grip on it and you you know it's not gonna like slide out from under you. So what we did is, we since we did that horizontal cut, we've got a nice little cut in the line like that so we can just hang it on the side of our glass like that when you're serving it. So now that we've done that, easiest thing to do is just pop this over the top, give it a little tap, and now we're gonna shake. And the key to shaking, if you're doing it for an audience, or in a bar, or anyone, is to smile. And actually there's a bit of emotion to it. You wanna throw it out and behind your shoulder. And that's proper mixing technique. Not just, that's not proper. There you go, there you go. Out and over the shoulder. So then, easiest way to get it off, just tap it like where you got some space there and it just comes off really nice and easy. And now you've got perfect margarita. Some people like salt in the margaritas. I typically don't care for it. It's unnecessary. So there you go. You get the lime on there and you can just squeeze that lime right into your drink. 
pop it in and have a sip. Cheers. Mm -hmm.